Right, today I'm throwing a coffee pour over. Um, first thing to say, the sound quality is different. This is actually a test of my new external microphone that I've got from my camera. Um, so I use a Sony Alpha 6400, which is a great camera, highly recommend it. At some point I'll do a video on my setup and possibly explain or either explain how I set it up or just find the, the resources I use. But um, great camera, and but I put an external mic on it. So in theory, the sound quality should be better, but we'll see. So I'm throwing coffee pour over. I'm back on my normal KGM clay. Uh, this is a bag that Pottercraft sent me. So for those of you that um, aren't watching this live and haven't been keeping up with the disastrous month I've had. Uh, basically, everything I th have thrown in the KGM for the last month or so has just blistered really badly in the kiln. Um, you can't tell which bags, because occasionally it has been, you have bags that are slightly off, but then the next bag will be fine. But what I've started to realise is that all quarter tonne of the last batch was useless. So, um, nothing I have thrown in that has worked. Um, so I have been testing replacement clays and I got in touch with Pottery Craft who I bought it from, they don't make it but um, they got in touch with the people who did who said that they didn't know why and hadn't done anything different and um, so I started looking for replacement clay but in the meantime Pottery Craft received a new batch of the clay so they obviously get it in much bigger amounts than I do when everything I got last time was from a single batch of clay and they have now moved on to a new batch of clay which this is so I'll find out if KGM still has the issue what I'm going to do is throw a couple of pieces that I still have outstanding for orders um, and then I'm going to throw a couple of pieces that I'm just going to let dry on the bat, not worrying about kind of making them in any way usable pieces. But I will rush them through so they'll get in the next glaze firing. Um, so be it bisked and glazed immediately, and then glaze fired immediately. So I'll have some idea whether or not this bag's okay. Because if it is okay, that will be quite convenient for the few orders that I haven't managed to make so far in the clays I'm testing. The clays of the clays that I've been testing, and this is probably only useful information if you're in the UK, but I, I have been testing a few Scarva clays and a few Pottery Craft clays, and so far the, t the one that's winning it at the moment is the Scarva PF580. That was really nice to throw and just work with through the whole process. Every part of it, every part of the, the process worked well with that clay. Um, very few issues at all. Fires to a similar colour to the KGM, which is a bit of a shame because I'd have liked something a bit whiter. Um, but it does seem to be equally robust, which is a very useful quality to have. That's looking pretty good is um, Hartley and Noble producing them, I designed them, you can go and see the previous videos, i put the template up for free if you want to print one out, but if you want one cut, laser cut, in no, CNC milled uh, in wood, Hartley and Noble sell them, I'll put a link below, they're very useful for checking the angle which is important on a pour over. Uh, yeah, so the, my favourite of them at the moment is the PF580. I've just thrown with the Pottery Craft clays. The superior white earthenware throws really nicely. Um, but I put a small sample in my last glaze firing, just straight out the bag in to see what the fired colour is, and it's a bit darker than I'd like. So it's even darker than the um, KGM, which is off-white. What I was hoping for was more of a porcelain white. Then there's another clay, which is called just... 
white earthenware throwing, I think, that's cheaper than the superior white earthenware, which wasn't so nice to throw straight out the bag, but obviously you don't know how representative each bag is. It was a bit, well, significantly softer, so not like I'm used to throwing. I don't think it would be too much of a problem if I got used to throwing it, but it's not, yeah, it wasn't the most comfortable throwing experience I've had, but it um, seems to fire well, all my glazes work well with it, um, and it's a bit whiter, and it's cheap, so I think it's the one that I was throwing with in probably the previous video to this, I can't remember if I've uploaded anything else since then. But yeah, so that one's currently winning on colour, where the um, superior earthenware is winning on throwability, but uh, PF580 is winning overall. And I think from what I've done with colour tests and kind of just feeling how wet the clay is from the bag, I think the... PF580, if the bag that I had of that is representative, is going to be my replacement of choice. Now, obviously, if this fires perfectly and KGM is back to normal, then it might be pushed down the list of things to do slightly, um, and I can throw with KGM while I look for a replacement. But we will see very soon how this actually fires. It throws as it should though. That was as normal. It's a bit slightly on the stiffer side than usual, but there is a bit of variation in the bags. But um, overall that was fine. Uh, yeah, so I'll report back in a few days as to how that fires.